Hey guys, I'm going to tell you how to get rid of the Samsung uh, Daily uh, which comes along with the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. Um, people would prefer the Google Feed app uh, rather than the Samsung Daily app. So I'm going to tell you how to get rid of and there are like a lot of uh, other stuffs going on if you disable the Samsung Daily app and then you go for a third party launcher. So what happens is that when you go for a third party launcher, uh, Samsung uh, disables your navigation launcher style and then it will be replaced by the three button navigation style uh, which we don't want. So the first thing what we're going to do is uh, we install this third party launcher called Launcher uh, which I would recommend which is uh, which looks exactly like the Pixel launcher um, which is uh, readily available on the Play Store. So you go ahead and install that and once you install that uh, you can see that the Google's launcher is still the default launcher right uh, so we have to change that from Google launcher to the launcher so for that what you have to do is you got go ahead and uh, um, go to the settings and uh, so open your settings and then search for default apps uh, and then go to default apps uh, and then uh, choose home app and select launcher as your default app once you do that, you can see that the launcher uh, is selected and then you can see that the uh, Samsung got rid of your navigation style and then it was changed to the three button navigation, right? Uh, even though you now that you have access to your Google's feed, uh, when you swipe uh, to the left, uh, but uh, you have to, there's one other thing you have to do, you have to make sure you go to home settings and then you have to s click on plugins and then select the uh, Google app as the show feed you have to select that on you may you might be required to install a plugin for that but once you do that you should be having uh, access to Google feed but now that uh, the next thing what we have to do is we have to get rid of this three button style navigation and bring back the old method uh, old navigation bar style right uh, now that uh, Samsung will force us not to use the old navigation style uh, even if you try to go back to the um, uh, you know settings and then go back to the navigation bar and then you can see that even when you select full screen gestures um, you can see that the more option uh, is grayed out right uh, you will get a three individual uh, style navigation bar but you will not get a single uh, navigation bar style which we had before uh, Samsung will make sure that we don't have access to that so uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, gain access to that style uh, using a computer so to do this you have to connect your uh, Samsung uh, S20 to your computer and then uh, you have to make sure you have your developer options enabled in your phone and then make sure USB debugging is enabled. So once you do that uh, I'll give I'll put a link on the description of a platform tools uh, which you need to download on your PC and uh, you have to open your command prompt and open to the location where the, you have downloaded the platform for, uh, files. So as soon as I connect my phone uh, with all the settings which I just mentioned enabled and I've connected to my uh, computer and I've uh, downloaded the file which I put it in the description and uh, I have to go open my command prompt and uh, do a CD and space and then the location where the, uh, the downloaded folder is and then I have to run this command uh, which I'll put it in the description which starts with ABD uh, ADB shell command overlay so as soon as I enter that and click on enter you can see that my computer uh, the, my phone has the navigation bar of a single uh, button right so now you can see that it's done so there is another issue now so now that we have a single uh, bar style navigation along with the Google feed there is one thing which is missing compared to the default launcher. So if you look at the, the navigation style, you can see that when I pull it up from the drawer, uh, from, the, from the navigation bar, you can see that the drawer is also opening up and also the, the app chooser uh, windows uh, is also opening up. So two things are happening at the same time. But when you do the same thing from the Samsung launcher, it only brings up the uh, app chooser so it doesn't bring up the it doesn't pull up the drawer 
so to fix this uh, we have to do one more thing in our uh, custom launcher launcher for this uh, what we have to do is you have to go to the home settings uh, right uh, and then you just hold the hold on to the home screen and then you will see the home settings and then go to home settings and then you scroll down to find uh, gestures and then you can see that there is an option called swipe up from dock right so select that and say and say do nothing so once you do that you can see that when you pull up the navigation button from the bottom it only brings up the uh, app chooser uh, just like how the Samsung uh, uh, launcher, the default launcher does. So now you have a perfect working launcher along with Google feed. You can, if you want, you can even, you can, you can make the uh, settings as uh, dark mode from the home settings. So you have a perfectly working uh, functional uh, launcher. Thanks guys. Hope this helps.